Hey, this is Maria Reyes, McDavis.com, and I am chiming in on the latest Impact Marketing Zone project, the GenYGuide.com. You can find out more information at Maria Reyes, McDavis.com forward slash GenY. And this is a quick video run through. Um, the full case study is at the URL I just mentioned, but this is a quick walkthrough of the new GenYGuide.com. A little backdrop, Sarah Newton um, for the last 14 years has been an expert in all things Gen Y, Gen O, Gen Z, Millennials, anything having to do with youth ages 8 to early 20s. And there's, um, you can go on her site and find out why there's such a big classification of the different generations. Um, but what it, Sarah does is help parents, professionals, um, educators, organizations, nonprofits, anybody who's looking to connect with, engage, and mobilize, which you can see right here, um, youth and anybody in those generations. She is highly accomplished in her field. She's recognized all over the world as the Gen Y expert, um, own TV show, books, she's an author, the whole thing. There's no issue with credibility as to her expertise at all. And um, what I really want people to take from this case study and this project is the importance of intelligence gathering, what we call in the impact marketing program, um, and it's the process that all of my clients go through, whether they're the little guy or big Fortune 500 companies, is what I call the secret agent investigative intelligence gathering. It's a fancy word for it. know everything you can about your market and the individual groups or what marketers call the segments um, within your market. And that goes far beyond demographics. That goes far beyond any intelligence that you have in your databases or your email list. It goes far beyond the, you know, the random survey that you send out. It's really understanding the psychology, behaviors, motivations, emotions, who influences um, each segment of your audience. What is their motivation? Um, what environment are they operating in that's going to affect their connection and, engage and engagement with you? It's really understanding at deep, 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 deep levels your audience. The next process that I think um, a lot of marketers miss is creating what I like to call impact profiles. And that's once you've gathered all this intelligence, once you've done your monitoring, observing, research, listening, whatever you want to call it, and you really have all of this information, you need to put it together and break it into who are the groups that are most important in your audience. And for Sarah, we knew that there's a whole crap load of people in her overall audience that need to understand, engage, and connect with Generation Y. However, if you look at that audience and you you go through this intelligence gathering process, what you find out is that there's very there's four very distinct groups of people, and each of them operate in a different environment that will impact how they in, um, integrate with you. Each of them has different motivations. Each of them has different perspectives. Each of them has different groups of influencers that affect what and how and why they do things with Gen Y. They're very, even though they're under the big umbrella of Generation Y knowledge seekers, they are still very, four very distinct groups of people that are driven by the same topic, which is Generation Y, but everything else within those um, that's related to marketing to them, connecting with them, communicating with them is very, very different. So without doing what we call impact profiles or, segment, or segmenting your audience and really digging deep into each group that's within your audience, you would never know that. You cannot make those on, based on guesses, assumptions, presumptions, whatever. You really have to do the legwork to really understand your audience. And it, and it pays off when you start developing your marketing. And as you start to evaluate and tweak your marketing, it's going to pay off big time. It's going to save you time, money, and it's going to increase your results because you understand what's going to work and what's not going to work. And you don't spend your time spinning your wheels trying to figure that out with each new tool that's introduced. The next thing that you need to do and um, that all the impact clients go through is 
you've done your investigation, you've done your gathering, you've created your impact profiles, you understand that parents have very different motivations, needs, environments than the professionals that work with Generation Y. She understood that educators are different from parents and professionals and vice versa, that organizations are different from schools, professionals, and parents. And so you've created these four impact profiles. Once you've done that, what you need to create based on this information and based on your business goals and based on the technology and all the things that are available to you is what we call the impact map. It's going through the process of mapping and connecting and visualizing and understanding how you can reach each of those audiences or those segments individually as well as how those relationships between your segments are going to affect what you do to market or to engage with those segments. For instance, we know that Generation Y, you know, organizations need to deal with employing Generation Y. Schools need to deal with educating Generation Y. Parents need to deal with the whole big bucket of raising Generation Y. And although those are interconnected, they are also very different um, content resource connection needs that each of those groups have. When you create your mapping, what you're doing is, is understanding before you jump into social internet marketing or social media blogging and all of this really cool stuff that we have available now, you're really understanding what's going to work and what isn't going to work. And you're setting up a plan to optimize every resource that you're using to achieve your objectives. Understand that big guys in particular, but even the little guys, when you chase your tail and chase all the new technology and you assume because 200, 300, 700 million people are on Facebook that your audience is there, yes, they may be there, but do you know why they're there? Do you know what they're doing there? Do you know what's working in your competition um, and what's not working so that you can take lessons learned? Do you know all of the information that's going to help you determine is marketing on Facebook and the alternatives that I have in marketing on Facebook, is that really the best investment for my time? And one of my biggest pet peeves is getting a call from somebody who says, I need to launch a Facebook campaign. Well, why? Because they've got 700 million users and my users are bound to be on there. Okay. Granted, they may be there, but do you know why they're there? Do you know how you're going to connect with them? Do you know um, if it, that's even feasible for you to connect with them on Facebook without pissing them off with all of your marketing, there's a whole bunch of questions that need to be answered before you go into campaign mode in social marketing. When you do all of this, what's going to happen is you're going to stop chasing your tail. You're going to know when Mashable or TechCrunch or, you know, your favorite guru like Mari Smith says, hey, I found a new tool, you're going to go look at that tool and you're going to know, wait a minute, this doesn't have anything to do with me because I have the intelligence that I've gathered to know that my audience isn't even going to participate in this. I have my impact profiles to really understand my audience and this just doesn't fit into their psychology and their behavior. You're going to know all of that and you're going to spend less time chasing your tail in social media. Now understand that all of this process, months of work, happened before we even planned the site, the design, the development out. Nothing was built until we really, really understood. We've completed the investigation. We've completed the impact profiles. We've completed the impact mapping. And then and only then was a plan and a campaign built. And then and only then was this blog slash website slash mega massive Gen Y resource built. It has to go that way. If you do it in the opposite direction where you just say, I know my audience, and you make assumptions, and you make assumptions on everything from behavior to motivation, you will almost always fail or not achieve the results that you could have achieved. So I invite you to go to the genyguide.com, browse around, check this monster. I am so proud of this project and the work um, that we've done with Sarah and in working with her. She really, truly gets the um, the importance of social internet marketing. She really truly understands and gets her audience and it's one of those synergistic, awesome, awesome 
clash of just perfection that's happened. This is um, one of the best and funnest projects I've worked on. So check out MariaReyesMcDavis.com forward slash Gen Y for all the case study details and watch out for the ImpactMarketingZone.com coming to a town near you.